What up, bro? Yo. What's the word, man? What's going on, bro? Nothing much, man. Chilling, dog. I appreciate you tapping in with us, bro. Lando, Bando, what's the deal, my dog? What's the word, bro? Cool, man. How you been? Man, I can't complain, man. Blessed and highly favored, dog. You know it. Same over here, bro. I, I wanted to get you to uh to tap in with us for just a minute, man. You know, we, we kind of uh created this platform definitely to get artists um their music heard and also give them constructive criticism from some, you know, some some notable guys in the city, bro. So and with your platform, that's something that you do, dog. You shed light on a lot of uh new artists that's coming from the city. So I was kinda wanted to get your opinion on who you think are some artists that's coming up that people should kind of uh, listen to? Uh, it's the artist named Sick P. It's okay. the artist named Tilly Home. He fire. Uh, K. Shira, female mm. rapper. She fire. I heard her too. And, uh, I mean, the city going crazy right now, bro. I could be up here naming people all day. Motherfucking baby money. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, a godfather, you feel me, on Philly. It's a whole bunch of motherfuckers going crazy. That's what's up, that's what's up. And I and I say that to say, like, in your opinion, with, with somebody with a platform like the one that you got, um, what do, what do you think hinders a lot of artists from really taking their music to that next level? Attitude. So that's the number. That's that's the that's biggest fact. thing. Attitude. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So does attitude tie into how you handle business? In your opinion? Yeah, most definitely. Cause right. just 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 cause you the nigga in your hood, don't mean that everybody in these businesses that got these platforms and relationships you gotta make. Don't mean that they they don't know about what you got going on in your hood, bro. You feel me? So niggas just be wanting that respect off top. And, you know what I'm saying? You got a better relationship with a nigga, you know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So what what does it take to, you know, we got a lot of artists that be tapping in with us, and we all, we the, you know how we is, bro. You know how we get down. We we the niggas that don't really try to hog everything to ourselves. Everything ain't got to come through us. We like to share light and, and give people options and, and let them know that it's more than just us out here, bro. So um, with that being said, what does it take for artists to really, start building that relationship with Lando and the hip hop lab and, and trying to get promotion or whatever they need as an artist to facilitate their career. That's a good question. Man, this be the whole thing, bro. Like this is the thing that be that be uh, blowing my mind. Literally. The same way that Donald's Burger King or White Castle or Macy's or you feel me? Any stuff. Yeah. All you gotta do is just come spend that bread, bro. You know you feel me? I'ma fuck with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't want something for nothing. That ain't how it, it works. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I agree with you, bro, 110%. For the show, sure, for sure. I got a question, Lando, for you. What inspired you what up, though? from helping so many artists through your career? And salute to you, man, because you a mogul, bro. Like, you brought a lot of attention to our city, outside of our city, connecting those dots. I feel, honestly, you don't get your just due. But we we have to talk about that later. But what inspired you to start your own label and have artists that you take under your wing under your own label? Not the management role, but actually running a full label. Cause I kept I kept uh I kept feeling like I kept feeling like I was blowing niggas up and I wasn't getting the getting the benefits of blowing niggas up. You know what I'm saying? Everything be cool and niggas be broke and yeah, bro, I got you. That niggas ain't got you, you feel me? So I had to create my own situation and stop, you know what I'm saying? Never, never really even complained about it or nothing, you feel me? Just grind it again, did it again, you feel me? His shitty boys, his, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. So, Trying, just, you know what I'm saying? For sure. And, and just to build on that, what does Lando look for? I, I'm not sure if you, and you know, you're still looking for artists, if you're looking for producers. I seen you, I seen you the other day say you're looking for assistant. So, like, what is it that you're looking for when it comes to those particular things? Uh, well, really, bro, like, uh, uh, anything that's different in case my eye, bro, I just signed the new artist. He gonna, like, like, by this time next year, he gonna be one of the biggest artists out of the city. 
for sure. But it's just like shit. Some shit just gotta catch my ear. But you don't know. A nigga might pay to post this shit, and then I listen to it. I might like it and start fucking with you. You never know. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta get yourself in front of the motherfucker. You know. Yeah, and I ain't just me. Like with the people that follow me, the same people that follow you. If you might post some shit, and the motherfucker that's following you might tap in with them, and now they on. Man. You know what I'm saying? So many different variables to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, Lando. Um, so as far as the shitty boys, what do y'all have coming up? What y'all got, you know, in motion right now? Where they can find the music? Where they can find, you know, for the people that isn't hip to you, which it shouldn't be that many people. But where <laughs> can they find everything that you got going on with you and your artists? Man, you can go to the hiphoplab dot com, or you can just you can just go to any streaming platform and type in uh, Shitty Boys, and that's gonna come up. Uh, and yeah, bro, uh, or you can follow my record label page, Hip Hop Lab Records. Keep in tune with everything we got going on. No, no. <laughs> that's, what's, that's what's up, bro. I, um, I also wanted to ask you um, just about like the come up, man. We we seen you, you know, and in the light where you actually lost your page, you had to fight to get your page back, you got it back. So talk about that that time and like what what made you just keep pushing through those through those incidents, you know what I mean? Man, everything happened for a reason, bro. You feel me? If God bring you to it, he gonna bring you through it. You feel me? I'm a that's firm damn, believer that's in a that. Big fact, bro. I'm, bro, I'm, I'm glad that you uh, mentioned that. Yeah, real talk, bro. That, that's that, that's a that's a that's a real, real fact. Uh, yeah, bro. See, I even even you you said it with my first page, bro. You was one of the first niggas that I had interviewed, bro. You let me come up to the radio station and shit, interview you, yeah. shit. Yeah, hell but, yeah. I still I still got them pics and shit, bro. That's why I'm like, I it, it's important for me to uh always shed light on people that I believe in, bro. And, and what you was doing from the start was something that I definitely believed in. I saw a need for it because everybody, like we always preach on this, everything ain't for everybody. I got a different ear than you got. You know what I mean? And you be up on certain stuff that I might not be up on. And that's how I think this Detroit music and this Detroit culture continues to move forward, bro. So Ooh. I appreciate what you're doing with your platform. I appreciate you putting me on shit. Like you was instrumental in them early times when we was doing uh Press Play Live, Hot Boy Radio, you was coming up there, you was putting me on, you know, the stunt hearts, uh, and, and just like that whole young wave, the Rocanes, all that. So I appreciate mm. you, dog, and what you're doing with your platform and what you and what you gonna do, bro, because it's only, we only right here, especially with you creating your label and then, you know, signing other people and putting other people on, too. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. You gotta, you know what I'm saying, you gotta, uh, uh, this shit, bro, I ain't gonna lie. This shit like a seesaw, bro. You gotta be the same on both sides. You're gonna be up and down, you feel me? But you know what I'm saying? You gotta fuck with who fuck with you. That's what make this shit keep going. And side note, my nigga Peso, my, pay, my nigga Peso in here, he made my first ever logo ever, and he rapped that nigga hard as hell. You feel me? I yeah, fuck with right. you, Peso, and I got you, my nigga. For sure. So, hey, Lando, I just got a few more questions, man. We ain't gonna hold you up. Uh, anymore. So, as far as artists reaching out to you and trying to upload on your platform, are you still offering that, or how how do they go about doing that? Even if you are still doing it. Yeah, I'm still doing it. It's a number you can call and shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Mm -hmm. Like that's why I'm looking for an assistant. Like. Not even on no funny shit, bro. Like a nigga like, be so on, fucking yeah, busy, bro. like bro, like that mm -hmm. shit be like, bro. It be so much going on, bro. Like bro, I don't even get to talk to my grandma sometimes. You feel me? Like, yeah, you know, I feel you. I feel you, bro. Oh, and uh, before you ask your last question, I just want to say congratulations, dog. Welcome to Dad Gang, boy. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Little Ben, dope, man. Land, yeah, three, man. Congrats, man. Congratulations. Yeah. And, and, and uh, my last question is, can you please share your opinion on how important a DJ is or the DJs are for artists, producers, you know, X, Y, and Z, in your opinion? Man, all right. This is how, but look, what DJs is we talking about, though? 
I'm I'm just saying. I mean, you ain't got to say any name, but just just no, I'm talking about I'm talking about I'm talking about you you talking about radio DJ, strip club DJ, you feel me? Yeah, I mean, it is a lot of different lanes, but that's what just, I'm saying. Which on one? Cause... What you want to touch on? Like, All right, let me say this. Mm-hmm. Rate the importance when okay. when you talk about like that's strip right. club DJ, a radio DJ. Just just kind of like rank the importance, mm-hmm. and also throw in there too because we 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 know, bro. Radio don't break records for real. It can make you a superstar if your record popping, mm-hmm. but radio don't really break records. It is. That's what we can what we can is. we can rank all that shit, bro. Like. Do you think TikTok may be more important right now or what? Like, just keeping it real with these artists so they know where to put their music. Man, I ain't going to lie. Bro, the most, I feel like, bro, I feel like motherfucking, like, I feel like the radio, like, damn near, like, like, I was just initially this shit from Master Flex said, like, radio don't break, motherfuckers, they can make you a superstar, though. Yeah, I feel that, like, motherfucking, like, I feel like that shit damn near, like, it, it depends on what level of artist that you on, bro. A new nigga come out the gate. You don't need to worry about getting your shit to no radio DJ, bro. Like, it's not going to really matter, you feel me? But the strip club, you feel me? That's a whole nother animal, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, some niggas who got a platform and doing shit like this, like, that y'all are doing, it's some shit that you need to tap into, you know what I'm saying? It's just different times, you know what I'm saying? Like, back in 2010 and, like, 2013... That shit was like extremely important. You feel me? I feel yeah. like you got to get your online buzz coming up more than anything. You know what I'm saying? Then everybody gonna flock to you because who not gonna want to play a nigga who got twenty thirty million views on one song? You damn near have to. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. Even yeah. with me, you feel me? Like shit. Let's say you don't want to fuck with me and come spend your coin, my nigga. Shit, if you get hot enough, then you could just say I'm gonna have to post your shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But right. how's you gonna get there? You feel me? If you don't fuck with a nigga like me or fuck with yeah, a nigga like Phil yeah. or fuck with a nigga like Gifty, you feel me? Or a nigga like Joe or a Detroit Rap News, you feel me? Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I feel you 110%, man. I think uh, I think the game has definitely been changing for a long time. I think radio got to do some revamping and, and, and bring it back to more local, you know what I mean, type situations. But I think definitely, man, these artists... It start from the ground, bro. Start from your hood, then branch out, and eventually, if you get to to that point, we gonna try to come find you. So I hey. definitely feel what you're saying. Hey, for sure. Well, Lando, man, once again, we really appreciate you taking time out your busy schedule to tap in with us to drop that that knowledge, those jewels, man. Uh, congrats again. Uh, keep pushing forward because you pushing the culture forward. Um, it's just good to see that people in our era, and I'm just speaking for the city, man, doing they thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Like real talk, because we all really yeah. came up together. We in that era together. So it's good yeah. that people are doing their thing and just progressing. You feel me? Bro, gifted. Is, them, is that a scarf you got on or that show here? This is <laughs> my era, boss. Yo, shit, long as hell, boy. God <laughs> damn. Yeah, man. Hey, Lando, man, you, you know, I've been, I've been at it about, like, nine years, man. Since you've been knowing me, I had dread. My grandson just got extensions, man. Oh, my God. Man, I, I know you had dread. Your shit wasn't that long, though. You got <laughs> extension. <laughs> oh, up, I oh yeah. Once again, man, we appreciate yeah. you. Um, Anything you need from us, you know, we want to call, want to text away, you know, Keep oh, yeah, quiet, yeah, like, yeah, shit. Likewise, you see, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I told Sale, we was going to make it happen, my nigga. You feel me? For sure, bro. I appreciate you, dog. For sure. That's all. You already know, man. Appreciate you. Look. Yeah, man. Once again, man, we appreciate you, man. Thank you for tapping in with us, man. Once again, man, we appreciate you, Keep it coming, man. Definitely keep submitting that music. Hotplays313 at gmail.com. We got some more things coming up for the show, man. We're going to take it to another level. Hopefully oh, pretty, man. pretty soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. I go by the name of You Know Cell. It's DJ Gifted. One time for I've Been Dior. It's Club Plays. Hey, man, hit us up on Instagram. Powered by Plays. You might want to rent the venue. If you see it look nice, you try to shoot a video or something. Come on, man. 
Like Lando said, man, spend that paper, build that relationship, and we can keep this thing rolling. High play. You know it, huh?